Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Tawad Mehta and today we are going to talk about Importance, Performance and Analysis in Smart PLS. It's also known as IPMA. The credit of de developing IPMA goes to Marty Lyon James in 1977. They came out with this concept. Basically, the concept is that when any construct is there, which is represented by some statements, now this const for this construct, we should calculate the importance and performance and that should be uh, developed on a two-dimensional graph. So on one axis the importance is considered and on another axis the performance is uh, considered. The scale is from high to low. Now the question arises that how a importance is uh, calculated and how the performance is calculated. So for the importance the beta value let's go in the smart PLS the beta value of the path coefficient is considered. Let me run this and I'll show this. So here, this beta coefficient, which is generated of any construct, say for example, co-worker. Co-worker is represented by uh, AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4. So when I consider this value, it is, it is known as beta. Now comes how performance is calculated. This is importance. So for the performance, we will go in the raw data file of the same data set which we have used in this smart PLS. So here AC1 is there, AC2, AC3 and AC4. Now this uh, AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4 they may be on the different scales. So we want to recalibrate or we want all of them to bring on the same scale and for this purpose what we will do is we will use the formula which has been given this formula that is uh, x scaled is equal to x minus x minimum upon x minus x maximum minus x minimum. So if any participant is giving a score of 4 of, on that particular statement, uh, one statement is asked which is on Likert scale and his score is 4, then what we will do is 4 minus 1 that is a minimum of the Likert scale 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 is minimum divided by 5 minus 1 and we will calculate the percentage for each each respondent so we will get this percentage so AC1 percent is there AC2 AC3 now let's see the formula B2 minus 1 have we used the same thing yes B2 minus 1 that's minimum divided by uh, 5 minus 1 into 100 so we get the percentage now after getting this what we will do is we will take the average of the entire uh, AC1, let me go at the fag end, I will take the average of AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4. Once we get this, we will take the overall average of 1, 2, 3, 4 which is represented here. So this gives me the performance, importance I will get it from there, performance I will get from here. So. Uh, I will compute this thing on two dimension graph. So I have taken importance, the beta coefficient and the performance which is computed there. Uh, let me write the value which is there that is 45.94. I will write it out here 45.94. So I will get this value. Now here this represents, this is importance and this is performance. Same thing we will get in Smart PLS, but for running uh, IPMA, there are some conditions which we will have to follow. And the condition is uh, this one, conditions for using IPMA. Metric scale should be used. All items should be on the same scale. If your items are not on same scale, IPMA is having a method to bring it on the same scale. There is one uh, important thing which you should remember for using IPMA is that one should be kept for strongly disagree and five should be kept for strongly agree. Then only you will get the importance graph, the correct importance graph. It works on reflective as well as the formative construct. Okay, once this is done, this we have also talked about this thing. Now once this is done, we get this type of graph. Now this is the same concept which has been given by James and uh, Matila. According to them, what will happen is on 
x-axis there will be an importance like this on y-axis there will be a performance so here there is the first quadrant which is there now how we will divide the quadrant for that purpose also they have uh, they have assigned some values and the value is let's go in excel they have kept the threshold limit as 0.5 for importance and 50 percent for performance so what will happen is this graph will get divided into four quadrants 0.5 like this and 50 percent like this it means that when I get the result in first quadrant of some constructs which are here so they are the best constructs because their performance is high and the importance is also high now it will happen that some constructs which will be here their importance is low right we are not getting good beta coefficients in this quadrant but their performance is better now if I if we rework on this then possibly then possibly this constructs can move on move in the first quadrant this is you can say the worst quadrant because low importance and low performance so these constructs are not performing well and this quadrant is that the importance is higher but the performance is lower we should concentrate more here and basically this uh, basically this uh, quadrant is such a quadrant where uh, if you rework then you can get the better result okay now let's see how we will carry out this in smart pls we will go in demo calculate and we will go in ipma uh, uh, we will go in ipma now here when i say one and five it may be possible that some of them will be on different scale but if I apply to all, then uh, it will recalibrate all of them. This may be possible that here you will get the red light. It, it is in the red highlighted. You will have to select the target variable, apply to all, and then start the calculation. Once this is done, see this is the same score which you have got it. Now I will directly go into the construct. Now what you get is, the same concept which we had under uh, which we have discussed on the excel see it here here this is the importance on x-axis is the importance and here there is a performance if i take this chart on word file okay and let me try to explain this thing there uh, let me uh, change the layout and make this as if it's possible orientation as landscape so that I can get a bigger graph let me make this bigger okay first thing which you should do is you should draw a line which is at 50 percent now here there should be uh, a point 0.5 here but we are not the graph has not been plotted here because there is there are no constructs beyond 0.5 and the graph is is uh, is getting finished at 0.35 only not to worry it means that these constructs are in second quadrant it's very clear see just assume that there is a line at 0.5 just assume it so it is clear that this quadrant these constructs are in second quadrant it means that if we rework on this, rework in the sense that reframing the statement, making it, uh, adding some more statements to this constructs, then possibly our beta coefficient will, will increase. And there are chances that uh, this construct can move into first quadrant and we can get the better result. So basically, IPMA is also talking about uh, the further scope of the research that if we improve this construct, or rather if we check the reliability and validity and rework on the questionnaire and so we add some more statements to this then uh, there is a possibility that we can get the better result we can also get uh, the microscopic view of the individual statements also so when I click here which statements are performing better 
that also we can see from here the concept applies same of 50 percent and 0.5 so uh, if the statements are not performing well see specifically for this quadrant see this one this one it's not performing better and therefore for this we will have to rework on this statements so thank you all of you this was all about ipma you can subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter